the theory of Kundalini, confirmation of the view that the human brain is already perfected and designed by nature for a higher performance, for a higher dimension of consciousness, will create revolutions in all the branches of human thought. There will be then no room for the imbalances, for the very unequal social and political orders, for wars, for bloody revolutions and riots in the world, for wars, revolutions and riots, including the French and the Russian evolution, revolution are a part of the evolutionary process of our brain. At a certain degree of development, just as a child cannot fit in the clothes prepared for him, similarly, the adult human mind cannot fit in the social order or political system devised at a lower state of evolution. What happens then is that revolutionaries come on the scene to demolish that order and to usher in a new era for the further evolution of the brain. We are on the threshold of a similar revolution. We are on the threshold of a similar occurrence on the earth. We are on the threshold of a new discovery that will make wars, revolutions, right, racial discrimination, hate, and all such anti-evolutionary ideas and doctrines impossible on the earth. There is no other way. There is no other way to clear the atmosphere of the world of tension, fear, hatred, and anxiety unless it is demonstrated that there is a God on the earth, that there is a controlling intelligence behind the universe, that there are spiritual laws as strict and as inflexible as the laws of matter. But I can assure you that at no distant date, this one revelation will cause a revolution in science, politics, philosophy, and all other branches of knowledge which have no precedent in history. We have exceeded the time already, and uh, I think also some of our friends might be feeling um, tired by the ordeal of having to sit for several hours to listen. But I am sure that our friends from Canada are used to this long... <laughs>